and we are back with more scars above. I thought I was actually getting close to the end boss, but it looks like we have some more fetching to do so. Here goes nothing. Part 10, let's get it. Okay, so. The alien wants to take me to their lab. Okay then. Here goes nothing. My facility is nearby. Well, this is not a lab. Ooh. So what's this way? Wait, are we supposed to go here? No, okay. Just the XP farm, okay. Okay, there it is. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ooh, third point. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna get the reload. Nice. So now. Reloading one weapon, we'll reload them all. What? What? Oh? Fires a fast burst of electrical energy. Oh. Something tells me we're gonna need that. Hello? No? No? Anybody here? 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 So, this is where you worked? Genetic data processing. Here, my team and I analyzed the results from the experiment. We tried to assemble the pieces of the code and unlock its secret. This is what I wanted to show you. Yeah, one sec. As I happen to notice, you got some loot lying around that you're probably not gonna do a whole lot with. Now me, on the other hand, you know, this? This is the Matrix from which the Custodian was born. He is a machine. And you created him. We weren't making any progress with the code. We were limited by our own capabilities. The data patterns required simultaneous analysis in a near limitless number of dimensions. And the mutations needed to be synchronized accordingly. So, you made a machine to run the experiment and put it in control? But the Custodian is more than a machine. He is an artificial intelligence, made out of the connectomes of our own minds. In other words, you gave him all the brains and no heart. Heart? He doesn't need a heart. He runs on meta-quantum energy. I meant, you didn't give him empathy. No. So, how do we destroy him? With this, this place can recompile his matrix into a seed that contains opposite subroutines. Planted in his neural core, it would grow and nullify his systems. It would effectively erase his mind. I am activating the recompile sequence. 
It will take some time, but once it's done, we should have the seed that can destroy the Custodian. And how do we get to his neural core? I will explain everything along the way, but we must hurry. Please return to the monolith. When we built the Custodian, we started with the most powerful system we had available, which was the core of our vessel. We essentially built him around our vessel's systems. <sighs> the Metahedron. The Custodian has raised a meta-network barrier, preventing monolith access to the vessel. Now, he receives data through several upload nodes on the planet. I think I can break through the barrier's encryption by sending my signal through these nodes. The monolith will get us close to the nodes. Kate? Where are you? What the hell were you thinking, sneaking off like that? I have to stop the custodian, Tam. If I don't, we're not getting through this. We have to stop him. We're a team. We are a team, but if you die, you will be gone permanently. I'm not losing you. Or Mike. We don't know anything about this technology, Kate. How many times it can bring you back, or the effects of the reconstruction on your body and mind? That's a risk I have to take. How is Mike? The cellular reconstruction is complete, but he's still unconscious. I hope he wakes soon. Kate, just try not to die. Not much, at least. <laughs> I'll do my best. Most definitely. Kind of ready for an ambush at any second, but so far so good. What? Thank you. Yeah. Getting anything for one whole point. We could. Non healing consumables, heals. Gadget won't drain battery power. Yeah, if anything, I think we'll grab this one next. So let's hold off for now. input the coordinates in the monolith. There are three upload nodes you need to get me close to. You can choose them in any order you prefer. Wow, o only three? You're so kind. Uh, okay. Let's just do the swamp first. I am sending you the location of the nearby upload node. Didn't we have a boss fight here or something? No, but we did need to cross this using the ice. Okay. Okay. Site is locked. You will need an access rod. A second facility, Field Outpost Tetra, is nearby. There is a chance we might find it there. Sending you the location. Right. See. 
The thing is, right now I'm remembering that. Yoink. There was an acid door somewhere not too far from here. Please don't give me the boss fight. That'd be kind of lame. Actually do anything with this thing. I can rotate it a bunch. But other than that, not really. Okay. Hmm. I'd love to find that acid door if I only remembered where it was. Here, maybe? I think it was. Okay. Not particularly awesome. Just amazing. What the hell? fight area, which I'm hoping we don't have to do again. That'd be kind of stupid. Oh, he's still here. Okay. So then the acid door is gonna be over here. 
Field outpost Tetra is inside. Oh. <laughs> okay, we took the long round. We should probably heal. This is pretty messy so far, but okay. Let's switch to the shield just for now. So we could possibly drop down. Maybe not. going this way. <sighs> this has to be a trap. Tetra was one of the first facilities overrun by the creatures. Good people died. One of them should have the access rod. You will have to look for it on their bodies. Well, I mean, that's one way of getting XP, I suppose. Oh, hi. Uh... Kind of joke. Again. Jesus. Log entry. The hard crust on the creature's body serves to hide soft flesh. Fungal growth seems to be filled with an adhesive secretion. Okay. Go. Kind of ridiculous, but okay. There it is. You can use this to access the upload node site. I should look for a way out of this place. We can go there, but then why is this a thing? The 
Right. Dude. Does everything have to be a trap in this game? It's kind of silly at this point. <sighs> you kind of just defeated a big cave boss and the game is like, well, here, go to three more locations, even though you've killed everything you needed to. Except for the main mastermind. Just do some more fetch quests. Eh, kind of weak. At this point, I kind of want to be done with this. And this is just... Yeah, this is just kind of silly. Again, I guess. guys are really one of the most tedious enemies I've ever come across in just about any game. Wow. Okay. At least we got that out of the way. Saving up for the final ability, and then we will have unlocked everything. Not 
got the right code. These access rods need to be calibrated for each area. Look around. There must be a code for it nearby. Certainly. I would love to do some more fetching. Examine the access rod. Okay. And I do this how? Uh. Okay. Oh, I see. So we have one part. Uh, okay. Was it this? Okay, so it's like two lines and one. Okay. Okay, that shape is correct. different positions, of course. There we go. I'm guessing that's not going to be all of it, though. <sighs> Wrong code again. Maybe it's written somewhere around here. I should look for it. So we have that. I didn't look up in this section, even though it'd be kind of silly if it was here. And again, at this point... Honestly... Huh. Okay, so we got it all wrong. So it's three and one on the first. Okay. And then two and three on the second. And then one and two on the third. There we go. such thing as free XP, so another boss fight, I'm sure. Melee is mostly just a waste of time in this game, but, you know, if you land just the one killing blow and you have the ability, you can regen some XP. Yay! Okay, I think we're good. Alrighty. Everything we 
restocked. Let's get it. Oh no. The door is broken. There must be some other way inside. Also, not the. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Why is this game trying so hard to be so obnoxious? Look at this. What is this? By the way, we heard you wanted to make progress, so uh, let's make sure you burn through all of your resources first, please. What? What is this silliness? I don't understand. Utterly unnecessary. Lightning gun can fire more of these six shots. I guess that's something. That was mostly just speedrunning all of the final achievements. But whatever. There must be a reason why it's possible to go here. Let me guess. Ambush? Oh, one data cube, of course. Well, it seems like this is where we're going. But then, if that is the case, what's over there? Probably nothing. Maybe an XP cube? Maybe that's the trap I was expecting. Thank you. Confirmed. Fiber. Also very, very useful. Well, I mean, now that we know that lightning kind of shreds the, um, the big boy, I guess that's something, but that's still kind of silly. Maybe we need to use the, um, upgrade that lets us slow down time for a brief moment. Maybe that's useful against these, uh, fungal ones, because they're just... Now for the upload node. I will attempt to break the encryption. Stand by. It's a trap. I know what you're trying to do. Feels like a silly trap. Don't put the gun away. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, maybe we need this thing. Uh, you 
Excuse me? Dude, what the hell? How is he so insanely powerful? have enough fiber for this this is this is ridiculous please no more of these this toxicity is just never ending wow really an annoying enemy type to have everything maxed out. Wait, what was this at the bottom? Yeah, okay. Really, dude? This enemy spam at this point is just Unbelievable. Kind of worries me that the final boss is going to be one of the most annoying things in the existence of video games, given... All of this is going. But then again, the previous one was a walk in the park, so... Your guess is as good as mine at this point. I do know that these fungal ones, they are the absolute worst. Like, it's not even a competition. Um... Yeah. 